What's up, nerdlings? Yo. Do you nerd for video games monthly? It's VGM time. September 2020. Hey, nerdlings. Linda, aka the Gamer Girl here. And the real question is, do you nerd for Tom and Lacey? That's right, nerdlings, it is Video Games Monthly. These are video games that come straight to your door monthly. You pick a tier, you pick the consoles, you tell them what games you have to avoid duplicates, and they send them to you, and you keep them forever! It's a powerful thing. Let's get in there. It's your boy, Floyd. <laughs> now that we have our box, we subscribe to the three games a month tier, but we sometimes get a little something extra. Extra, extra. I don't know that I'm seeing much of a bulge on this box, so here's hoping we didn't get the back of the day gamer version. Some assembly required. <laughs> now, Lady Lacey likes to open them to me blindly. Sometimes she gives me hints to see if I can guess what they are. All right, we've got the literature. This is reminding you to update that list so you don't get duplicates. This is the card telling you to post what you get on social media and you might just win some games. And, oh, dang it, I thought this was the one up. <laughs> this is uh, Introducing premium edition games. Specialty is high quality Nintendo Switch releases. And this is showing off Super Blood Hockey. All right, I have not heard of this, but I am already wondering, is this like uh, like a Mutant League football just without the mutants or Mutant League hockey without the mutants? Interesting, might well, be worth checking out. I'm sorry, we did not get a one-up box. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks. Oh, bollocks. Mm. Bollocks. Is that what I can say? Bollocks. No, oh, bollocks. Bollocks. We got a two-up box. Okay. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> it's like double not Tony box. Boom. <laughs> Are you ready for the freebie? Yes, I am. It comes in plastic. Um... Oh god, it's not cards, is it? Wrapped in plastic. Oh. It's another whistle. So. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, it better not be. I oh, I think I would take the cards over the whistle. So it comes in double wrapped plastic. Okay, maybe that's not. Oh, it's a hanky. And see, look, it has its own little video games monthly plastic sleeve. Ah. Uh. So, a you little, can blow your game's noses. A little microfiber cloth to keep everything clean. <laughs> yeah, and just wipe that switch screen down. That'll be fine, right? Ew. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> no! Oh, God, no. I'm not throwing in the towel yet. Let's get some games. <laughs> All right, so we got a little game. So, I'm guessing a handheld. And somebody's secret in their chamber. <laughs> well, I'm guessing Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't know who else has, has a secret chamber. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So, yeah, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I have not got to play any of these games on the GBA, but I have seen them, and they have kind of a, uh, like a Diablo isometric top-down view. Well, I was saying myself, I've played them, but not on the Game Boy. Well... <laughs> Game Boy I really like the games that play like that and having a uh, property like Harry Potter. That will be a lot of fun. I That'll make for good the, exploration. I played them on the PlayStation, so I enjoyed that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so close. Now we're going to go so play. It's Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Game Boy game. We're going to play with some monkeys, with some chicks. This is Donkey Kong Country with Dixie Chicks. <laughs> 
no! Like Dixie's. They're not cum Dixie cum chicks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> With chicks? It's just one chick. That's Pauline. Well, hey, chick. All right. Donkey Kong, the original. The Toronto, the original. The arcade original on Game Boy. It's got that Super Game Boy game pack, so you get that special border. And hey, it's Donkey Kong on the go. Who doesn't like Donkey Kong? Now you have a cassette from Japan. <laughs> and <laughs> vroom, 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 vroom. So I guess <laughs> a Japanese <laughs> racing game. Well, that could, oh gosh. That could be anything from the Famicom, Super Famicom, to N64, because those are the Japanese systems that the we N64. signed up for. Okay. Uh, well, I think we're good on, like, Mario Kart and Diddy Kong. It's a Japanese Kamiko bunch. game. Yeah, I'm not getting this one. <laughs> <laughs> Top Gear Rally. Oh, yeah, never. Never in a million See? years. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Well, <laughs> you know, funny enough, Peter Bateman of Waves of Games and I were recently talking about racing games on the 64. And he had said that the 64 had some really great racers. Honestly, I only played the, you know, like the Mario Karts, the Diddy Kong, mm -hmm. um, pod racing and stuff like that. I didn't really play a lot of the actual racers. So this will be a lot of fun to check out. It's so wizard. Ugh. Stop it. Let's not talk about that. My toe. My toe. Or I'll tell you. I said my tongue. I'll tell you how much I hate sand. I don't like sand. <laughs> it gets everywhere. It gets everywhere. All right, we got a boxed game. Yeah. Uh, a Mr. Head will enjoy this. Oh, something Sega. I smell... Sega. And Sega. it's got some snakes and some tigers and some monkeys. Oh my. And a big giant boy foot. Um. Is this Jungle Book? Yep. <laughs> Shot in the dark. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So Disney's Jungle Book. Now, I have not got to play this one, but looking at the screens on the back, it looks like that great Disney, uh, I think Virgin Interactive did a lot of their games, so that platformer style that they would do. So if you played like Aladdin or uh, the Mickey Mania games, you might have an idea of what's in store. Of course, they did change it up, some of those. That's that's interesting. Sometimes they do the uh, gate fold flat, but this one has a like tray a that slides out. And uh, oh, I see the manual, but can you see that in there? It's black and white. A black and white manual. Way to cheap out, Disney. <laughs> it's not like they can afford color or anything. I guess not. But the cart looks in great yeah, it shape. Does. This will be a lot of fun. There's usually a lot of fun to be had with the Disney games. I like how they play. Well, nice. the last game Completed is box. another cassette from across the pond. Okay. Another. So another Japanese one. Mm -hmm. And uh, Paul is going to try to sleep in this one. So it's a box. <laughs> Bo what, what was that name? No. Kickle Cubicle? Boxel? What? I don't know. Well, what would he try to sleep? He'd sleep in a box. He Paul already sleep sleeps in, in one of these. Flowers? <laughs> it's Kirby. <laughs> wow. She was going very specific, and my mind was way off the mark. He has a Kirby bed he sleeps in. He does. In. <laughs> he does. That should have been very, very I honest. know. So, <laughs> Kirby64, and I'm sure there's probably some uh, extra bit to that name, Superstars Saga, Penguin, Little Boy, Girl, running around on a picnic basket, sheet on the cover. What? <laughs> well, fortunately, the two <laughs> Japanese games that we ended up with, a racing game and a Kirby game, shouldn't be a problem playing those, not knowing a lick of Japanese, <laughs> because I don't.
So <laughs> no, Yoshi licks. Kirby just. I eats. should be fine driving around, and I should be fine hopping around as Kirby. At least I hope. I hope this isn't like some weird Kirby golf game or something. Nice. Not bad at all. I have to admit, the two that I'm definitely looking forward to the most, I really want to try out the Jungle Book because I've had pretty good luck with some of the Disney games in the past. And I'm really looking forward to playing this Harry Potter game. Just wondering if it's going to be a little more like RPG and uh, time to sink some major hours into that or not. Might just have to uh, skip to the last book or something, figure it out from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? How, how'd they do? I think they did pretty good. Some fun stuff. Like I said, I played the Harry Potter games on the PlayStation, so I've not um, played them on anything. Well, now you've got a whole new world. No, we didn't get Aladdin. No. We got Jungle Book. Wrong Disney. Hmm. <laughs> I guess you know it all. All I can say is, I want to be like you. I have a court order demanding an immediate halt to this unauthorized imitation. All right, nerdlings. <laughs> Give the video a like if you have to like it. Leave some comments down below. What do you know about any of these games? Please tell us. Uh, hopefully, I'm not going to be disappointed by Jungle Book. Looking at you, Peter Bateman, with your Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out Video Games Monthly. Tell them Do You Nerd sent you, and uh, maybe they'll send you a brand new hanky that but I haven't sneezed on yet. Sneezed maybe. I'm going to ship that back to them and see what they do with it. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to T Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we nerd it. God bless you. Silence of the lambs. Hello, Clarice. The games are still dirty, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> the silence of the games. Did you hear the games, Clarice? The sounds you made as you tried to clean them? Aside from a sk-ch-ch, they were silent, weren't they? I don't know where we're going with this. <laughs> Bye, nerdlings! Elbow you. You're fine. One of these days you're going to and you're gonna feel so bad. Boo! <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs>